गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई माई सेल्फ दिवाकर पांडे फ्रॉम कुंती नगर मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल नवादा एंड वेलकम टू यू इन योर ई लर्निंग क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू माई सिक्स एंड लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ लेसन फोर एंड टॉपिक इज अगेन एयर अंडर दिस टॉपिक टूडे आई विल डिस्कस यू अबाउट साइक्लोनिक वाइंस तो नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट वाट आर साइक्लोनिक वाइंस साइक्लोनिक वाइंस आर irregular winds which type of winds irregular winds of short duration they are caused by pressure system known as cyclones and anti cyclones what happens in a cyclone a strong wind blow in a spiral towards the low pressure area at the center now we come to study in the northern hemisphere in the northern hemisphere this winds blow in an anti clockwise direction around the center of the cyclone while in the southern hemisphere when we study in the southern hemisphere they blow in a clockwise direction what happens when cyclone occur occur yes cyclones bring heavy rains try to keep in your mind cyclones bring heavy rains and cause damage to places over which they pass cyclonic yani samudri toofan jo hote hain wo bhari barsha laate hain aur jis jagah se ye guzarte hain bhari vidhwans laate hain in anti cyclone now we come to in anti cyclone in an anti cyclone gentle winds blow from the high pressure area at the center towards the surrounding low pressure area in the northern hemisphere winds blow in a clockwise spiral away from the center of the anti cyclone while in the southern hemisphere they blow in an anti clockwise spiral anti cyclone bring a stable weather and clear skies now we come to the case a study of super cyclone that occurred in odisha as we know the eastern coast of india is one of the most cyclonic hit regions of the world and odisha it is located on the eastern sea coast of india is prone to cyclones that originate in the bay of bengal on 17 to 18 october yes and when we study its case we find when in 1999 it means 17 to 18 october in 1999 do you know this region during the months of may october and november always develop cyclone over the bay of bengal and generally a strike this region during the super cyclone winds a speed it means during the super cyclone wind a speeds reached up to 300 km per hour that occurred on the 29th october 1999 and it devastated large portions of the state and it hit five district of the state the reason hit by this cyclone was inhabited mostly by poor fishermen who lived in thatched huts their homes were easily destroyed by the strong winds in this cycle and the following floods also the damage caused were mainly due to three factors do you know what are what were these three factors these three factors were wind velocity rain and tidal surge and it lasted for over 36 hours it uprooted trees and damaged the calcutta the sorry the kachcha houses rooftops of several industrial sites it affected power supply and telecom line also like this the cyclone originated as a depression in the gulf of thailand that is located near east of port blair on 25 october 1900 99 and gradually 
moved in a northwest ward direction the super cyclone swept the entire coast of odisha including the cities of bhubaneswar also now we come to moisture what is moisture yes when water evaporates from land and different water bodies it makes water vapor like this moisture is it means moisture in the air at any time is also called humidity when the air is full of water this day is known as humid day we call it a humid day also as the air gets warmer its capacity to hold the water vapor increases and so it becomes more and more humid on a humid day cloths take longer time to dry and sweat from our body does not evaporate easily so like this we we feel uncomfortable during this time so now when we come to the next point when the water vapor rises it starts cooling the water vapor condenses causing formation of droplets of water clouds are just masses of such water droplets yes clouds also are just masses of such water droplets when these droplets of water become too heavy to float in air then they come down as precipitation yes jet planes flying in the sky leave a white trail behind them you always you might have always seen this the moisture from their engines condenses we see trail of this condensed moisture for some time when there is no air movement to disturb it it can be seen now we come to precipitation precipitation it comes down to the earth in liquid from liquid form and it is called rain this rain precipitation that comes down to the earth in liquid form it is also called rain most of the ground water comes from rain water by which source from rain water plants help preserve water it means these are the plants who help that helps to preserve water when trees on hill sides are cut rain water flows down the where mountains and can cause flooding of low lying areas and it may be it may occur heavy floods so now on the basis of mechanism there are three types of rainfall when we study we find there are three types of rainfall the conventional rainfall the orographic rainfall and the cyclonic rainfall on the basis of this now we come to what is rainfall rainfall is very important for the survival of plants because without rainfall plants and trees and any living creatures cannot live what brings this rainfall yes this rainfall bring fresh water to the earth surface so it is always said that rain water is always pure if rainfall is less water as scarcity and drought always occur so we should always plant more and more trees now on the other hand if it is more floods take place so excess of anything is bad to heavy rainfall to be to occur heavy rainfall brings floods and to less it means to be less rainfall it may bring drought okay thank you have a nice day